Today, I wanna to talk about two vintage lenses I bought for a total of $50. So before we start things off, I wanna give a big shout out to my guy, Doug. Doug works at the camera corner and he let me and my friend Harry look through this box of old vintage lenses and cameras and we stumbled across these two guys. The lens that I just used to film that sequence is on my camera right now. It's the 24 millimeter F 2.8 ProMaster lens. The lens I have here in my hand is the 18 to 24 millimeter 4 to 4.5 aperture Sam Yang lens. Both of these lenses came with a little filter on the front of them. I'm not sure exactly what the filters do, but from what I've perceived so far, they just kind of soften everything up just a tad. I also noticed that at least on the lens that I'm shooting on right now, the filter adds a little bit of a warm hue, which I kind of like, and that's why I'm using it. What I really want to get at in this video is that the next piece of gear that you're looking for might be closer than you realize. I had never gone to this camera shop and I have been wanting to get some new vintage lenses recently. It just happened to work out that we could find these guys and boy are they a joy to use. Because of their slightly unique characteristics, these lenses have been so awesome. The 24 millimeter I'm filming on is super sweet. It's my favorite out of the two. This Samyang lens is really cool because it can shoot at 18 millimeter. Before I got this lens, the widest I'd ever shot was a 24 millimeter. So it's been really cool experimenting with this 18 millimeter lens. For me, searching out vintage lenses like this isn't just a hobby. It's a development of skills and eye in filmmaking. While one can make great images on a newer photographic lens, I think it's super beneficial to try out different lenses like this. For me, it gives me a greater understanding of how different focal lengths and how different lens elements can affect your images. And if I'll be honest with you, it feels like Christmas every time I pick up one of these guys. <laughs> As you can see in my little sequence at the beginning of the video, these lenses are kind of motivating me to test my composition, my lighting, and things all related to that. You know, I think the focus on these lenses is a little tricky sometimes. I'm used to my amazing autofocus lens from Sigma, but the focusing on these are a little more finicky, which is expected when you shoot at an aperture of 2.8. For example, I've already tried to record this video a few times. However, a lot of it was out of focus. Without having somebody pulling focus behind the camera, it's a little more difficult to record yourself. But for me, the reason I'm getting these lenses is to be behind the camera and is to be composing more intentional compositions. So I really encourage you guys to go out there to your camera shops, to your Goodwills, to your garage sales, and to look for lenses and old camera gear to help inspire your modern filming. Making. Who knows, maybe you'll run into a Doug and make a new friend. Uh, maybe you'll follow him on his Instagram and he'll follow you back and all that stuff's fun and cool. Maybe you'll have a cool conversation with him about your camera gear or, or the type of work you do. And for me, it's been really exciting recently that I feel like I'm building a, a small community of filmmakers and photographers as friends through YouTube, through going to the camera store, through posting on Facebook groups. While my new connections seem pretty minor, it's much better than it was a few years ago. So as I sign off this video, I wanna encourage you to keep trying different things, whether you're testing out new gear or testing out new camera angles and keep sharing it. I love seeing your guys' videos. Whenever you guys put a little comment, I'll, I'll check your channels and, and see what kind of work you do. So keep sharing, keep, keep putting stuff out there. It only makes the world a little bit better. All right, I'll see you. Bye.